Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, May the 3rd. It's the third week of Easter, and week two in the Psalm Cycle. And please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, vindicate me, O God, for I have walked with integrity. Alleluia. Psalms 26 and 28, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, vindicate me, O God, for I have walked with integrity. I have trusted in you, and therefore I shall not waver. Examine me, my God, and prove me. Test my mind and my heart, for your loving kindness is before me, and I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with useless people, nor do I go with hypocrites. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence, and so I come to your altar, O God, that I may sing with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous works. O God, I have loved your house, the place where you dwell. Do not gather me with the sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty. In their hands are evil deeds, and their right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk with integrity. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My foot stands on level ground. I will bless you in the congregation. Alleluia. I cry to you, my rock. Hear me and answer. Lest I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you. When I lift my hands toward your holy place. Draw me not away with the wicked, nor with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but with evil plans in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Repay them according to the work of their hands. Render to them their just deserts. Because they do not regard your actions, nor the works of your hands, you shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed are you, because you have heard my prayers. You are my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in you, and I am helped. My heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise you. You are the strength of your people. You are the safe refuge of your anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them and lift them up forever. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Vindicate me, O God, for I have walked with integrity. Alleluia. The Exodus chapter 19, beginning at verse 1. On the third new moon, after the Israelites had gone out of the land of Egypt on that very day, they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They had journeyed from Rephidim, entered the wilderness of Sinai, and camped in the wilderness. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God. The Most High called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the Israelites, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings, and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession out of all the peoples. Indeed, the whole earth is mine, but you shall be for me a priestly kingdom and a holy nation. These are, my, these are the words that you shall speak to the Israelites. And so Moses came and summoned the elders of the people and set before them all these words that the Most High had commanded him. The people all answered as one, everything that the Most High has spoken we will do. Moses reported the words of the people to the Most High. And then the Most High said to Moses, I'm going to come to you in a dense cloud in order that the people may hear when I speak with you and so trust you ever after. When Moses had told the words of the people to the Most High, 
the Most High said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. Have them wash their clothes and prepare for the third day. Because on the third day the Most High will come down from upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You shall set limits for the people all around, saying, Be careful not to go up the mountain or to touch the edge of it. Any who touch the mountain shall be put to death. No hand shall touch them, but they shall be stoned or shot with arrows. Whether animal or human being, they shall not live. And when the trumpet sounds a long blast, they may go up on the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people. He consecrated the people, and they washed their clothes. And he said to the people, Prepare for the third day. Do not go near a woman. And on the morning of the third day there was a thunder and lightning, as well as a thick cloud on the mountain, and a blast of a trumpet so loud that all the people who were in the camp trembled. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church in the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, and for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, for Doug, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. <clears throat> For all who've died, especially Howard, Brother Roger, Brian, and Dwight. And for all who serve in harm's way. For the victims of terrorism and violence. And for the resolve of the nations to address the climate change crises. For all who are sick, and for Brenda and Brian and all who are in recovery and rehab. For the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering from dementia. For those struggling with addiction, especially Bill. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the mercy of God associates for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O merciful God, full of loving kindness, redeem us from our iniquities. Place our feet on level ground and guide us in your truth. Admit us to your house and allow us to sing your praises around your table. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia and happy Easter. <laughs>